Okay, so today um, I'll be showing you the insides of the Zune HD. Um, I'll be taking this apart just to, for a little educational purposes. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, the unboxing of the Zune HD and the review, um, you should go watch them definitely. Um, you could subscribe to my channel or not, it doesn't really matter. It's just this is a hobby I like to do. So, to start, we're going to turn off the Zune HD by holding the power button up the top. Slide the power off. Now, um, it may, it, Microsoft made this remarkably easy to take apart. It's just four simple screws, tri wing screws at each corner of the device. I have a tri wing screwdriver, and it's when I've done this before, the screws seem to be a little bit bigger than what I have. So, um, to not risk stripping the screws, I may have to. Uh, take the zoom out of view while I unscrew it just for a second, but let's see if we can do it on camera So we just start oh, I already did it once so it seems to be a lot easier. They're pretty small screws. They're not too far. They're not too deep in And these are actually a lot easier to take out than the first time I did it I had to uh, push pretty hard and make sure the torque was right before uh, in, just in case I strip the screws. So there's all the four screws and now the back just comes off very easily. Just slips off like that. Um, you can see the inside of the Zoom HD. You can see the case. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera but it does say 4R Princess is engraved on the bottom of the device and I'm not really sure what that is, is significant for. Um, just like the hello from Seattle thing. I don't know if this is unique to my device or what. But you can see that this is a pretty thin sheet of metal. It has um, some uh, the manufacturer date, uh, July 21st, 2009, right here. Um, and just the serial numbers, I think, and some padding. Um, but this is pretty well put together, as I suspected it would be. Um, so you can see that this is very well organized. Um, this is the battery, I believe. Here's the NVIDIA uh, Tigris chip, the graphics processor. It's very powerful. Um, just because I haven't gone too far into it, I'm not going to show you that much. I don't want to risk uh, uh, breaking this, but if I do take it apart a little more, I'll post some pics. Um, you can see here's the uh, battery wires that connect into the logic board right here. Um, the screw that's holding the logic board to the device is a Torx. Uh, use the Torx screwdriver, which is a lot smaller than one that I have. So I can't really go too far beyond this. Um, it looks like this uh, chip continues into the plastic part, which I'm assuming the Wi-Fi antenna is here. If it's not right here, I don't really know how to how to identify it. Um, the buttons, the button placement comes off pretty easily, um, as I just showed you right here. Um, here's the power button, and it has a little uh, out at the bottom of it so that it pushes the little uh, receiver right here. And this just slips in right here. So although it's a very simple uh, device that's manufactured in and out and very simple to put together and take apart, it's very well built, which is uh, surprising. It's a very nice way that they did this. Um, and feel free to take yours apart more. I'm just putting out a disclaimer that I'm not responsible for it. Um, and I don't want to go any farther yet until... I can get a torque wrench that's small enough for that, which I'm planning to anyway, and when I do, I will put up pictures of that or possibly another video. So, sorry if that's not too much that I'm expecting. It was just a little short one. Um, but, like I said, keep watching the videos, and the Zoom HD 4.me should be up pretty soon. I could use some help with that, so if you're interested in being a staff on the site, contact me through the YouTube uh, contact or tvick v i c k 47 at gmail.com thanks